Hello everybody, this is a Grey Monster back with another Lego Transformer. And this is Claw. As you can see, Claw turns into a nice bird mode. And I think the bird mode looks very good. Um, he's got little bird feet down here and the wings, of course, can open up. Get a big spread eagle flying pose there. Looks very nice. I tried to I tried to add a, a little variation in the the paneling and stuff and because you know that's how birds are their their feathers aren't all the same and so uh yeah that's what I decided to do. Um as you can see it's not too complicated as with most animal transformers. I ain't doing nothing nothing special but you know it's still fun and still still cool that at least I think it's cool that I built it. Um so uh yeah I think that's about it for bird mode. Let's get, on, get down to transformation. So first thing I'm gonna do in transformation is take these two legs and fold them up. Take the bird tail and just rotate these two hinges on this clip until it's kind of like that kind of knot, kind of at an angle. And then you're gonna push those nice up against the legs and then come down here and squeeze it so it doesn't fall apart. Then you're gonna come up here, just kind of lift the head up for now. Take these legs and swing them all the way around and get them situated just like that. And there's his legs. And you can come up here, collapse that bit to the chest, rotate this around. Really like this part. Take this, flip it up. Take this, flip it down. Now a wing is an arm. Same thing on the other side. Come here. Flip it around. And then, last but not least, go up here to the head. Turn this little bit around. And collapse it down. There you go. Nothing crazy about that. Bird head becomes robot head. Anyway, we get him standing. There is, oh, don't break him. There is Claw in his robot mode. And he looks very nice. Um, like the way it turned out. He's got a slight backpack, but I don't think it's, it's too much. The wings kind of cover it up. Um, but yeah, as far as articulation goes, you can see the, well, no, you can't see because I um, insist on breaking it. Back, I say. There we go. As you can see, it's a little weird up here at the shoulder. You can kind of move it around, but it's a little bit limiting, but you can move it here at the clip as well. And if you really wanted to, I guess you could move it down here at this ball joint, but then... It kind of looks a little weird, doesn't it? Anyway, it's got a hinge at the elbow, and yeah, it's pretty much at the arm. I mean, you can get a pretty good range of motion. Down here are the legs. They're attached ball joints at the hip and ball joints at the knee. A little foot forward and back motion. Um, it can be a little bit difficult to stand. It's slightly back hippy, so that's a, quite a downside. I didn't mention before this guy is a Decepticon, but I, I don't really think of him as a bad person. He just kind of, he just kind of shares similar beliefs with the Decepticons, but he's not really a huge fan of their, their uh, ruckus and mayhem that they cause. But he does have a job, and he is very good at what he does, and that is a Decepticon um, doctor or healer or. or Scientist, whatever you would want to call it. And so he repairs broken Decepticons and um, it's kind of just a stay at base, kind of on the calm stuff of Decepticon. But if you ever were need to, if you ever, whoa, let me learn English real quick. If there ever was a situation where he would need to defend himself, um, 
I would think that he wouldn't be always carrying around a gun with him, so I decided to give him a very small little, like, war hook type weapon. I think that suits him very well, because he wouldn't be very trained to use anything um, that skilled, but I think anybody could handle it. If he'd hold it, anybody could, could use... Oh, good lord. Sorry, it's falling apart so much. It is made out of Lego, so... But I think anybody would know how to use one of this. So you just grab on, hook on to whatever Autobot he's defending himself from and, and rip him apart. But I don't think he would enjoy it too much. But anyway, defense is defense. <sighs> I think that's about it. Um, thank you all for watching. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like. If you really liked it, you can go ahead and subscribe. Um, I do have one more Transformer that I would be posting uh, tonight. And uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you later.